Good morning, everyone. We are headed to the North Maple Street Charles River. So we're going to go up High Street Way right off of 126 in Bellingham, Massachusetts. So we're at the end of High Street, just took a left onto Maple Street. Now we are crossing over the Charles River and there's a little tiny parking lot right there. there. Yep, that's it. It's going to be pretty bumpy. This is where you'll park. I found out about this place probably three or four years ago from my friend Marjorie Turner Holman. She is the author of the Easy Walks books in Massachusetts. She has several books and they're really, really wonderful. And I just, I love her books. Lots of information and local walks in my area. So let's head on out and go for a walk. The Charles is definitely higher because of all the rain we've been getting. Starting to get some beautiful color. Love the fall foliage. It's very overcast here this morning. A lot of the wildflowers are dying back. These are the white wood asters. There is a nice little flow here. You used to be able to walk out along those rocks. I suppose you still could, but I don't want to do that. And there's the dam right there. Right now I'm standing on Maple Street. There's a lot of traffic that goes by here, but I just wanted to show you. There's the river. So just walk carefully down the road and you will enter past the guardrail. This place is loaded with poison ivy. We're trying to get to the dam. It's a little overgrown. Oh, there's sweet pepper bush. You smell wonderful. This is as close as I can get because of all the vegetation. I love that sound of the flowing water. Oh good, I can get closer to the dam on this trail. And here is the other side from across the street. After Marjorie showed me this wonderful place, I've been here numerous times with my husband. We really like coming here. We haven't been here in maybe a year. The trails are a little overgrown. I don't think a lot of people have been down here lately. So we have to cross this stream. Hopefully these sticks aren't too rotted. Now you can see the trails. These are honey mushrooms. I think that's a daddy long leg. There's a small slug. They love mushrooms. The deer love to eat these. This is the Mass Wildlife Conservation Easement. Private property, public access is permitted. Wow, it's awfully dark for the morning time. So the trails eventually bring you out to the high tension wires. They just ask that you not go near the power station. The trail may look narrow, but you can definitely tell this is the trail. Such beautiful colors. Well, unfortunately, we can't go any further. With all the rain we've had, there's a lot of overflowed water. We went down further, so I'm gonna cross right here. That's the power station right there. But that's as close as we are going to it. So that you don't get lost out here, just keep an eye on the red and white painted on the trees for the boundary line. And there's another one up there. This is amazing. I have found so many pine saps this year. There's tons right here. Look at them all. I love the color. Now I'm really surprised to find the sheep laurel is blooming. It's this tiny little pink flower and there's a lot of the plants here but this is the only one that has the flowers on it. So we walked the woodlands over there to my right and that brought us back to the high tension wires. And then we'll be re-entering over here on the left to head back out. We walked up the hill. I could get a look at the power station. Not very clear. So dark. Oh good. Chris found a nice easy place to cross over. So we were done with our walk. It was two and a quarter miles. It was a really nice walk. But my gosh, the mosquitoes were ferocious. But I'm going to put a link down below to Marjorie's books. If you're from Massachusetts, this is something you'd probably definitely want to look into getting. And if you ever come out on vacation, this would be a book to help you find some wonderful places to walk here in Massachusetts. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. See you next time, guys. Bye.